Um, I've never really talked about COVID really, thinking about it. I see a lot of people do. Um, we've not really been affected by it that much. Um, most of our family here had COVID very early, February. Um, got over it, went back to work. Um, my husband then was off work for a while when the theme parks closed and uh, then he was one of the first called back. Um, we don't really have a mask mandate here, we never really have, not in my part of Florida. Um, the police and the sheriff's office would not enforce it so they never really did it. Um, originally, um, even through the two week lockdown, nothing here was really locked down. Um, places mostly closed themselves and then opened as soon as they could. So, uh, yeah, everything's been quite normal. Um, the only difference with me is I don't go to the Disney park so often. I used to go, say, three times a week for a walk. Uh, now I can only go once because um, I can't wear a mask, so going to the parks is quite difficult for me. Um, I have to take my mask off a lot, buy little corners to hide in because I can't wear them. Do a lot of drinking, <laughs> so um, I only go now once every eight days or so. I don't really miss it to be honest, I've got a little bit bored. When the parks were very quiet, when they reopened, we sort of did do them for a few days and that's when we found out I couldn't wear a mask and I became quite ill with that so um, I just gave up. Um, some of our shops have uh, mask mandates I suppose but nobody's ever told me to wear one so I think they just kind of ignore it and uh, they ignore you. I've never had any problem with anybody. I've not worn a mask in a shop at all, ever. Um, Nobody said anything. So I think we all keep our own business around here. So my husband's very busy now at work. Um, he did retire from his original job and then we took a year off when we moved out here and then he went back to work at the theme parks for a while. Um, it was going to be a while, but he kind of enjoys getting out of the house, so he carries on doing that. He is giving up one of them in a month, and they're going to be really, really, really upset. But um, he really doesn't need to, to go to work. Not that I really want him here, but um, we have to be careful how much money he earns before we pay tax. So really, our life's been very much the same. I had a very busy life when I was younger, and um, when I got a little bit older, I decided that I wanted to enjoy my own company more, which um, still didn't happen. I still had a house full of people and grandkids, and when I moved here, I decided it would be a bit quieter, but I've still got grandkids and um, family here, so all through the lockdown, we hadn't all the two weeks we kind of had a lockdown, we were still seeing family and friends and we've been seeing family and friends all the way through it and we've been travelling and you know my grandson's been going to stay with his other nans and you know, nobody's really had any problems so and my fish has done well, they didn't catch Covid for me so um, So that's my COVID life really, um, it hadn't changed apart from two days a week I don't go to Disney. Um, I still do everything else I want to do, see whatever I want to see. Um, I don't know how people cope with being told they can't do things. I'm not very good at being told not to do things. Like I said, we've all been extremely well since um, we were ill this time, I think, last year. Just a little bit earlier, I think the end of February. Yeah. 
you know, my husband works at a job that he's been working at now five, sometimes six days a week with people from all over the country, you know, um, him and none of our friends have been sick, so I don't know if we're just lucky or very healthy. These little babies will be moving to the 36 gallons soon, the ones that are fair size. 